Hi everybody, this is Dave Neufeld for the Best Buy Canada blog, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Thinkware F70 Full HD 1080p dash cam. Um, now I'm actually about to go and set this dash cam, dash cam up in my vehicle, uh, but before I do that I thought I'd just uh, quickly show you uh, what, what comes in the box. So of course we've got the uh, Thinkware F70 dash cam here. There's the camera portion, and then I've got the uh, stand for it there that just it just clips on like that. Uh, I've got a slot for the micro SD card there, and you can see here I've got the micro SD card that comes with the dash cam, and an adapter as well for uh, if your computer doesn't accept micro SD, then you can use the adapter to uh, read it as a normal size SD. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just pop the SD card in. There we go, I heard a click, so it should be all good. And then of course I've got my power cable here, and I've also got some little uh, clips that I can uh, used to uh, wire the cable into my vehicle to wire the power source and kind of hide it around the around the side of the window and everything so that it's not cluttering up. So anyway, there we go. That's basically what's in the box. So now I'm going to go ahead and head out to my vehicle and uh, get this camera installed. Okay, everyone. So I'm back now and here you can see I am in my uh, truck and I have the dash cam all set up. So you can see I've just kind of got it sitting here behind the rear view mirror. And basically what I did is I took the mount and I applied it, I took off the sticky end and applied it to my windshield and stuck the camera on and then I went about wiring it into my truck and basically just all I had to do was plug it in and then you can see if you follow the wire. So I've tucked it in along the top of my windshield here so that it's all hidden and here on the corner you can see I've used, um, because it can't go under all the way, it gets blocked there, so I've used one of the little clips that they've provided and and clipped it there so that it doesn't fall down. And then along the way down, and uh, sometimes along the side here, uh, the wire didn't quite want to go in on its own, so you could maybe use a really carefully use like a blunt tool. I've just got a little keychain here, and I just kind of uh, pushed it in along the way, but that's how I got it hidden so that it's it's completely behind the in between the, the windshield and the molding here. Um, so it goes all the way down there and you can see it pop out a little, but I've done my best to hide it wherever I can all the way along. And it goes under, under, my, uh, under my glove compartment and finally ends up here, as you can see, in the power adapter. So that's pretty much it. Now that it's plugged in, um, the video will start recording basically any time I, I power on my vehicle. I, as soon as I turn the ignition, it'll draw power from, from, the, from my truck and start recording. Um, so it has three record functions. First of all, basically, as soon as you have it plugged in and it's on, it'll always be recording in one minute intervals. Um, and it'll save those to uh, one folder on the memory card. And then it has a feature where anytime it detects an impact, it will also save a separate video. And that's just, I think, to make it easier to find uh, probably the video you are looking for, where if there was an impact, then you don't have to go through and search all of the, all of the videos to figure out exactly what time uh, the fender bender happened. It'll, it'll notice that there was an impact and it'll save those videos um, directly around the the time of the impact to a second uh, folder in addition to the main always recording folder. And I'm just actually going to go around to the other side here really quickly. And on this side, conveniently obviously the driver's side facing the camera, you can see that there's a record button and that will uh, send a video to a third folder just in any situation where you specifically want to make a video and be able to find it. So it'll do the same sort of thing. If you hit that record button, it'll start from about uh, 10 seconds before to 250 seconds after you hit the record button and it will uh, save that video separately. Um, just if you see anything obviously on the road that you want to initiate a video and you want to be able to find it easily later, then it'll have that functionality as well. Um, and just for the mounting, I'll point out, I 
I don't know if that's very clear, but you can see that I've mounted it not so that the camera itself is at the exact center, but so that the lens is at the exact center of my windshield. And that's how you want it, because the lens you can see is kind of to the right side of the camera. And it's obviously the lens that you want directly in the middle of your windshield, not, not centering the body of the camera itself. All right, so I've had an opportunity now to take the uh, dash cam for a spin. I've gone for a, for a uh, drive in my vehicle and I pulled out the memory card, the SD card, uh, the micro SD card, and popped it into my computer. And now I'm just gonna have a quick look at some of the videos I shot. So um, I'm gonna draw your attention specifically to three folders here. Um, first, we have the continuing recording, and then the event recording, and the manual recording. So the continuing recording, obviously, is just um, one minute increments of basically the entire time that you were that you were driving that uh, your vehicle was operating and and you can see they're named in such a way that you can kind of get an idea of the time the date and the time if you're looking for something specific and if i pop one open then there you go um obviously here's just when i uh, turned my truck on and i'm sitting in my parking spot right now so that would obviously be the first video um, now, as I mentioned, of course, you can also take a manual video and that's just, uh, you just, just initiate that by pushing the record button on the side of the, of the dash cam. And while I was out, I took the opportunity and I made two manual videos. So they're segregated out on their own, which makes them kind of, it's kind of nice, makes them easier to find. So you just heard where it said manual recording will now start. So that's where I actually pushed the record button. Um, so when you do that, it actually goes back 10 seconds in time, which is nice because you might want to make a manual recording uh, <laughs> when something has already happened. So um, when you push that manual record button, it will go 10 seconds back in time and split out a recording and then go for another 15 seconds to make a full minute. So you can see here I've got two of those uh, manual recordings split out. And the last one here I'm just going to touch on is the event recording. Now this is designed kind of to uh, split out videos, especially when you maybe aren't thinking you need to split one out, but it happens in a split second uh, where there's some sort of impact or something like that to your vehicle. So anytime the camera senses that there's any sort of uh, jolt or impact or anything that, you know, that might have been an accident or something that you want to, are gonna want to go back and find specifically, it splits those out. And it's actually fairly sensitive. So you'll notice here I've got um, seven or eight of those. And it's because um, it really is sort of any jolt or motion. So I got a lot of them. I did not get in the seven or eight accidents while I was out. These are actually just you know, potholes or things like that, and I'll even open one up for you and show you. And yeah, sure enough, you can see I'm coming up on some, if you can see that while well, I'm coming up on some construction here. And sure enough, that uh, little stretch of bumpy road was enough to, uh, to set the camera off to, to, uh, to uh, break out an impact recording. And you heard that little beep perhaps that it made, it makes kind of a, a, a loud beep sound. And that tells you that it's sensed some sort of impact or, or something like that and it's breaking the video out. Now, the only downside to that is, is maybe that beep might become a little obnoxious if you are driving somewhere like this stretch of road where I am, where you're gonna hit a lot of those kind of rough patches of road, then, it, then it's gonna beep a few times as all those events occur. But. Uh, on the flip side, it is kind of nice that it does take the initiative any time that it thinks that, that any sort of impact or anything like that has happened, that you're going to want to be able to find that on its own outside of, outside of the regular continuous recording folder, which is going to get, you know, very cumbersome and um, populated once you've been driving for a while. All right, so uh, lastly, I'm just gonna touch on this, which is actually the hardwire kit for the, uh, 
Thinkware F70 dash cam. And what this is, is you saw me install the uh, dash cam in my truck with just a regular installation using the power cord and the um, cigarette light lighter style uh, power source. But you can also, uh, as a separate purchase, get this hardwire kit, which will allow you to uh, directly wire the dash cam into your vehicle's uh, you know, internal wiring system. Um, of course, that comes with the caveat. The manual suggests that uh, this installation should be done by a professional mechanic or someone, obviously, that knows what they're doing because you are, in effect, you know, uh, uh, getting right in there with the internal uh, wiring of your vehicle to uh, install it this way. So just keep that in mind that that is an option. It's definitely a nice one if you want to just have that dash cam integrated right into your vehicle and not have to worry about, uh, you know, plugging it in or that sort of thing. But uh, just keep in mind that uh, it does take some knowledge to be able to do that. So you should either have that done uh, professionally or at least, you know, if you, uh, if you have that kind of knowledge, just make sure that, you're, uh, you're, uh, that you know what you do, you're doing before you uh, attempt to hardwire the dash cam. But, uh, all in all, that's basically my experience with the, the, th the Thinkware, uh, the F70 Full HD 1080p dash cam. Uh, I really like it. it. It was very easy to install, it was very easy to operate, and it was very easy to plug the memory card into my computer and, and see all the videos that I shot. So uh, overall, I would definitely recommend it. I think it's a great, great little dash cam and I'm very excited to uh, use it more in the future. Um, but that's all for me this time, so uh, until I see you again, just stay tuned to the Best Buy Canada blog for all the latest in technology. Till next time.